draft, staff draft of the Delta plan. Then we had more thousands of comments through the EIR process. We had a very major analysis done by the Independent Science Board, and we had uh, comments that came to us through the uh, econ through the Delta Sustainability Plan from the Delta Protection Commission. So we have those major inputs, and we decided that probably the best way to address it is to try and focus on the big issues. And when staff initially prepared uh, a spreadsheet of big issues, they came up with 91. There were some duplicates. There, were, there was a lot that was wrong with that list. We've narrowed it down to about 30, 20 major issues and then some other editing issues. But beware, there are other, other issues that uh, we thought were non-controversial or less controversial. And so at some point we'll, we'll be going through when we have a six, a six staff draft uh, going through that issue. What our, what our plan is, is today and tomorrow to, to go through these and discuss all of these issues and then ask you as a council to give us specific direction on these key issues uh, at our next council meeting so that we can use that in developing the sixth and final staff draft. So our plan is that we uh, spend the next two meetings on these issues, then we uh, develop a final staff draft and then bring that to the council, hopefully at the end of April. Then you see if what we did matches what you thought you told us to do and uh, we tweak that draft and, and have a final draft, which is, will be the seventh draft, but will be a final draft at the, the same time. Maybe I'm too close to the microphone. At the same time, we will analyze whether that draft requires recirculation or not of an EIR and bring those to you uh, for adoption or for recirculation as the case may be, along with if we adopt it, we have to, to uh, make findings and certify the EIR. So there's quite a process here, but the fundamental process is getting through these issues now, discussing them today, but actually getting direction at the next meeting, and then having a draft plan that takes into account that direction and, and going through that draft plan uh, to see what we need to tweak for a final. Yes. Joe, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So today and tomorrow we're going to go through the major issues. And do you want direction as we go or well, I think tomorrow afternoon? Or our, you, want, you talked about delaying it to the next. Our meeting. thought was to give you time to think about it and, and come back at the next meeting and give direction. If you so, want to give direction as we go, I'm what, willing what, to take it. What would be the date of that? What's our Excuse me. That meeting is the 29th and 30th. 29th and 30th. 29th and 30th. 30th, then uh, direction, and then uh, the, the uh, sixth draft would be completed by... It's on our calendar to get it done by April the 19th, I believe. So uh, that it could come out, and then on April the 27th and 28th, or those 26, 27th. 26th and 27th week is. So as you described it, uh, that's, again, a staff draft. It's a staff draft. Right. But so we want to take into account you your into account direction. <laughs> and, and part of what I want to do is convert this from being ultimately a product of staff to being something that really reflects what the council wants. Um, It would be good to have that even if there's um, issues that staff knows are not settled or direction is not absolutely clear. Uh, and since it's not a final draft, nor is it the official work product of the council, um, <laughs> Getting it down and getting it out, I think, is important. E even if you feel like another few days or a few weeks would 
make it better. You know, I think trying to stick to the <clears throat> the date of April 19th, if that's what it is, and then working with it to refine it is is preferable to hoping that some more time will get you closer. I agree with that. And we are working as, as we speak. We've been working on what we think needs to be changed because a number of the changes, as I said, are non-controversial. And, and, so, and we think we know in many cases where the council's at from listening to you many times uh, over the last uh, year. But, we, but there are issues that require your direction, and so that's, that's what we're going to attempt to do today. With that, I'm going to turn this over to Dan and Cindy, and Dan will start off. And, Randy and had a question. Randy, did you have a question? No. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm clear also. So on April 29th, 30th, we'll be looking at the sixth draft. That's March 29th and 30th. What is no, 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 March no. 29th and 30th, we'll March be going. March 29th, we'll be giving, tell me what happens on March 29th and 30th. At uh, the March 29th and 30th, we'll be looking at the same issues that we have here today, on and we'll be asking draft. the council to give us direction, uh, saying, we want you to do it this way, mm -hmm. uh, this is what you should highlight, this is how we want it to be done. I know... Uh, the chair has asked me to try and provide even more definitive language right here. We have these kind of at a high level laid out. So I expect we will have some more language and try and uh, get input from you. But it, what we really will want is for you to begin to more formally say, do it this way in doing your sixth staff draft. Okay, in the April meeting, what happens April, the latter? In the April meeting, you say... You, we have the sixth draft in hand, the, the final staff draft, and you say, you guys did really good on these chapters, but you totally screwed it up here. This is what I wanted. And you may, in some cases, say, well, we disagree with one another and, and try and work on things that you would like to see changed so that we can get to, in May, a, a real final draft that you could say, this is where we as a council are at. Uh, for final approval. And the seventh draft is the final draft? That right? is the final draft, with and 